Okay, uh, welcome to the part 2 of our tutorial and previously in part 1, uh, we just went through on uh, creating the uh, paper cup for our uh, cupcake. Okay, so let's begin on creating the cake object and extract it out of this paper cup object. Okay, now let's select this paper cup object. And for this video, uh, I forgot that uh, you should open the exercise files file that I'm going to provide in your uh, download. Okay, so open the 3D modeling cupcake part 2 that max. Okay, and after that, uh, select that object, press F4 so that we we see the uh, wireframe and go to modifier tab. And now uh, we have to clone this one. Press uh, Control and letter V as in uh, victory and copy and name this uh, what you call this uh, cake and press ok and now with the cake object is selected let's enter into isolate selection so that we will see only the cake object and it will instantly hide the uh, paper cup object okay now here in uh, tour boost mode uh, we have here a in under modifier list, uh, let's select the turbo spot modifier. Draw that as well as this shell modifier. Alright. And now, expand this edit poly modifier. Press number 2 to enter into polygon mode so that we can select this polygon. Double click that poly. Uh, we can select these edges. And double click that edges. Right click and split. And that split tool is also available in here. Okay, so split. Now, press number 5 to enter an element mode so that we can select this element. Press delete. Right. So, the next thing we need to do is to uh, uh, enter into a border mode. Press that border or press number 3 and select the hole. Press letter R. And with this uh, border selected, press shift on our keyboard. Uh, press W. I'm going to uh, use the uh, move tool instead of the scale tool. Hold the shift key while moving this uh, selected border up. And it will uh, extrude additional faces. Okay. Now, repeat the process. Hold the shift key, but uh, this time we are going to use the, uh, what you call this, uh, scale tool. Hold the shift key and I'm going to scale this down. Okay, press W for move tool, move that up. Okay, press R, scale up. Press uh, W, hold the shift key. Move up, press letter R, scale down, and repeat the process until you uh, until you build some surface at the top of this uh, cake object. Okay, so I'm just uh, I'm going to keep on building this one. Okay, and after that, uh, with this hole selected, we have here a cup hole. Under edit borders, click that cup. Okay, and let's enter into a polygon mode so that we can select this polygon. And with this polygon selected, under edit geometry group, we have here a tessellate settings. Okay, and in tessellate settings, that make sure that and you choose under its drop down arrow, choose the polygon mode so that the edges would uh, meet the other uh, end of these edges here. Okay. Check. Alright. So now let's go into edge mode and exit into our isolate selection so that we will see the uh, paper cup object as well. Right. So with the edges uh, edges highlighted, double click these edges. 
press letter R and of course we have to scale this scale this move it up okay enter into vertex mode select the vertex at the center uh, let's browse over here under selection mode uh, under selection group now with this uh, vertex selected press the control key while uh, you click while clicking this edge uh, while you're clicking this polygon uh, button and it will instantly convert the vertex selection into a into a uh, polygon selection grow selection and move it up press letter r scale shrink selection scale move up shrink selection move up okay now we have to uh, relax all of these uh, faces above the cup uh, the cake object grow selection okay grow and with these uh, faces selected we have here under edit geometry group a relax button click that few, few uh, several times until it relaxes the faces above the uh, this uh, cake object okay now uh, press letter R to scale it and I'm going to scale it in X and Y axis okay go to edges select these edges relax select these edges relax and uh, okay and if we want to inherit the uh, relax of these uh, edges so what we are going to do is uh, with these edges selected uh, let's go into an edge mode so in edge mode uh, using the scale tool I'm going to scale this one so with the edge uh, edge constraint uh, activated if you scale this one it will just the select our selected edges will just move along the these edges okay okay sorry once more scale it down okay and deactivate uh, back to non constraint and scale it okay and that's copy and that will that that will make copy the relax of these edges so so uh, I'm gonna move this one okay so I'm going to do the, to do this the, the same process double click that one edge mode and I'm going to move this one okay back to none move down press letter R and scale okay so I'm going to edit this uh, further okay and after that uh, exit into editing and highlight that blue color may minimize it and try to apply a turbo smooth modifier and if you cannot see that turbo smooth modifier you can locate that under modifier this and choose turbo smooth modifier look for modifier turbo smooth modifier now press f4 to hide the uh, what you call that uh wireframe and if that doesn't hide the wireframe just go on realistic display selected and uncheck this display selected and upon pressing the f4 that should hide the wireframe okay so that's how you create a shape for our uh, cake okay so in the next video we are going to uh, create uh, the toppings which is the icing at the top of the cake object okay so see you there mm -hmm.